A new course has been added to the rotation for the upcoming AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. And that means Poppy Hills is out and Monterey Peninsula Country Club's Shore course will join Pebble Beach and Spyglass Hill. The field this year has been reduced to 156 players in an attempt to speed up play. And here we take a look at some of the holes at Monterey Peninsula Country Club Shore Course, many of them adjacent to the raging Pacific Ocean. Tuesday's press conference began in pouring rain, but ended in sunshine as the assembled media took notes and asked questions. Tournament director Steve Worthy introduced the defending champion, Dustin Johnson. Uh, Dustin was a three-time All-American at Coastal Carolina University. Uh, he had a great amateur career. Uh, he finished up his amateur career uh, on the winning U.S. Walker Cup team uh, in 2007 at Royal County Down. Uh, made it through Q School his first time uh, in, in late 2007. So Dustin Johnson... This is a good omen, the bad weather for you. Worked out well for you last year. Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, the weather here, especially this time of year, it's, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. It can be either beautiful or it cannot be. So, you know, you, we kind of come into the week maybe expecting that, you know, there is a chance that we might not have great weather. But, you know, it's still awesome to be here, even if the weather is bad. Just the golf courses are so beautiful and, you know, this area is so nice. Well, you had uh, great success at Poppy Hills last year. Uh, but it's a whole different ball game now at MPCC. Uh, what do you think about the change? Um, you know, from what I hear, I haven't been out on the course. I'm about to go right now and go right around it so I can get some more, um, you know, have a little bit of insight about the course and, you know, see what it's about. But from what I hear, you know, it's just a great golf course and we're really going to enjoy playing it. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. We still, you know, no matter what courses we play, you still got to play golf. And if the weather is bad, though, that plays to your advantage because you're the longest hitter, probably or one of them on the mm -hmm. tour. And uh, hey, the closer you are to the green, the better off. You ain't going to get any roll this week. No, uh, you know the ball never really rolls this time of year around here. So yeah, it is an advantage to be able to hit it. You know, hit it long here, and especially with the soft conditions. You know, even if you do happen to drive a couple in the rough, you can still stop the ball. Okay, you have two wins on the PGA Tour now. Do you set goals? Yeah, I do. Uh, I mean, I think everybody sets goals. Okay, so what's it for this year? What do you want to see happen? Um, you know, well, personal stuff, I'll, you know, I want to improve my my uh, wedge statistics. You know, I finished, you know, they weren't that good. They improved from my first year, which every year, you know, I'm trying to improve, especially certain aspects of my game. And, uh, you know, maybe my fairway percentage. I know that, that went up from my first year, too. So. You know, those are things that I'm looking looking to improve is, you know, wedge statistics and, you know, in every category. And, um, hey guys. Hey. you know, and so, you know, if you can, if I, if I hit my wedge as well, which I have a lot of, if I hit those good and, you know, keep them all in the fairway, I'm going to be tough. Have you ever been to a press conference when the name Tiger Woods hasn't come up? Didn't come up today. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, he, obviously, he, he comes up a lot. And, and everything, it's, you know, it's, you know, arguably the best golfer that's ever played this game. So, you know, you, you got to kind of talk about him. And, you well, know, we're, we're, we're looking forward to his return, and hopefully it's very soon. What kind of impact will his absence have, do you think? Um, you, you know, it's hard to tell right now because, it's you know, it's only, you know, he was out with his, you know, with his knee surgery. And so, you know, it's, you know, it's unfortunate that he's going to miss some time, but, you know, he's getting his life in order and, you know, he feels that that's, that's what he needs to do. So, you know, he's obviously a very smart guy and knows what's best for him. So hopefully it, it'll, it'll his return. Yeah. The, the thing with the groove, so it's not, you know, like he said, it's pretty, you know, we, we're, you know, we're good enough where we can adjust to it. But 